It was a beautiful morning, just right for enjoying beautiful things. Hey, Peep! Did you ever notice how... <sighs> Peep, are you admiring your can again? Mm-hmm. It's the perfect house. It keeps me nice and warm. And it's round, just like me. Hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -mm. Well, I guess it's okay for you, you know. Yeah, and you know the best thing is that... Okay! If you insist on dragging it out of me. Peep, your home is not perfect. It's not? Why? Well, I mean, for one thing, it doesn't have a door. Why do I need a door? Why? To keep out thunder and bright lights that make you squint. And don't forget about snakes who sneak around surprising everybody. Well, I've never seen a snake around here. Plus, how else will you keep out guests who drop in unexpectedly and keep talking and talking and talking? But I don't know anyone like that. Well, that's good, because it can get that pretty annoying. Hmm. Thunder is pretty loud. I guess a door would be good. But where would I get one? What a great question! Well, I've got to go. The fish and I are decorating hats. Bye. Peep loved his house and wanted it to be perfect. So he decided to go and find a door. Hi, yellow guy. What you doing? I'm looking for a door. I need one for my house. Oh, I know. Have you tried a beaver door? Beavers use water for a door. I don't think Chirp would ever visit me if I had a water door. But thanks anyway. Beaver Boy figured that a yellow guy has to do what a yellow guy has to do. But he doesn't have to do it alone. Peep looked for a long time but he didn't find a door. He did find Squeak, who was eager to help. Not safe, not safe at all. You need a door, all right, a round door. I suggest a nice round rock, like that. It's a rock, all right. There you go, your new door. See, that's a very safe door, the perfect door. No one will ever get in. But what about me? I can't get in either. Hmm. Maybe you need something lighter. Beaver Boy was right. He and Peep went to Nellie's house where they found something better. You see, a door needs to be round and lighter than a rock, but not made of water. Okay. If you're sure you need a door, you can take it. Thanks, Nellie. <laughs> is not right. I can see the door, but I can't see my can. I think this door is too big. Wow, you're smart for a yellow guy. Peep and Beaver Boy decided to get Chirp's advice on the matter. Hi, guys. You're just in time to help me with my leaf collection. Sorry, but we're too busy for leaves. 
You're too busy? Doing what? We're looking for a door for my can. A door that's round, but lighter than a rock. And not too big, and not made of water. How about this? I always wanted an orange door. See? It fits! Yay! Woohoo! Yay! We did it, yellow guy! We found the perfect... door. Well, we just have to keep on looking. Who do we know who has lots of stuff? Who has lots of stuff? Well, Quack does. But he was busy decorating hats. That left the raccoon. Let me get this straight. You need something round that's lighter than a rock and not too big but heavier than a leaf. Uh-huh. And it can't be made of water. And it'd be great if it was orange. Hmm. Aha! I've got it. Wait right there. Okay, it's in here someplace. Let's see. Round thing, bouncy round thing, clangy thing, twirly thing, happy thing, scary thing, jumpy thing. Here it is! Catch! What are you doing? Hi, Blue Sailor. Yellow Guy's about to try his new door. It works! It's perfect! Thanks for all your help! You're welcome. See you later, Beep. Enjoy your door. Beep. That door has got to go. But you said I needed one. Yeah, well, you know, I didn't mean a door door. I meant, uh, well, anyway, how can I come and go whenever I want to if you have a door? Hmm? 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 Huh? Did you think of that? I don't think you thought of that. But what about the thunder and the snakes and the lights that make you squint? Peep, some things are more important than not squinting. There. Much better. Yep, much better. Then I guess my can was perfect after all. Well, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, who said it wasn't? You said it was. Now look! Are you coming or not? We need a judge for our hat contest. I'm coming! Sometimes you need a door, and sometimes you don't. What you always need, though, our friends, even the ones with crazy hats.